Tai Tigon Reality TV. And welcome, TTR TV. And here I am. I'm in Old Town Temecula, another new area that I didn't realize it was in. Uh, it's about maybe. 50 miles, I think something like that, 50 miles away from where I am. And uh, I'm just out here checking out the area and the location and seeing what this area is like. It's quite an interesting area. It's a big touristy area. But it looks like a small city, but with a lot of old, maybe historical things. Wow, that was like... But, yeah, this area looks pretty interesting. I just entered, so I'm going to see what kind of things I'm going to discover, what kind of things to see, and see what kind of things there are to do. I don't know. This area looks pretty interesting. Let's go find out. So far, for being inside of this Old Town Temecula area, it kind of reminds me of an old western kind of theme, how there's a lot of structures that are built, like saloons and old western style, plus uh, with a touch of modern, being that uh, there's a bunch of cars, and new type of cars, so of course that makes it a little bit more modern-like, and street lights too, that are LED lights and uh, CFL lights too. So yeah, oh, good luck. So yeah, um, so far coming into this area, it's pretty interesting. I haven't seen uh, a whole lot yet. So far I'm about to go inside of this uh, antique store and see what kind of cool old things there are, see if there's anything that are that's interesting. Usually when they have antiques, they usually are items and old items that come from within the area. So it's probably gonna be a bunch of, probably farming equipment, uh, old guns, old western themed related stuff, and then probably a mixture of other stuff that from other parts of the of the world, probably mostly within America. But so far, seeing all this, it's interesting, really interesting. I wonder what else I'm going to find. This area kind of reminds me of Ghost Town in uh, Knott's Berry Farm, except uh, a ghost town, but that's practical. Unlike uh, Ghost Town in Knott's Berry Farm, where it's just a theme park and it's just made uh, for the theme. Brand new, newly made for the theme just for fun. Made for actual practical use, where it's actually real and really an old town, an old area. So actually, that's kind of interesting, which makes things very interesting. So far, pretty cool. This area seems to be bigger than I expected. And a lot of antique stores, which are very really interesting. Been in one so far, saw a few things, but not really interesting enough to buy. Just, you know, I found some maybe old uh, beakers and flasks that you can use for a uh, science project for chemistry and some old reproduction daggers and swords that are not really w worth anything but that's pretty much all I can see it's interesting but still need to check out more stuff there's still more stores they have a lot of antique stores as a matter of fact 
There's like so far five or six that I've seen. I've only been in one so far. But I'm about to go into this big one right here. So we'll see. Let's see what kind of things there are in here. Because this one here is supposed to be the biggest one they have. Which means there could be a lot of interesting things. So we'll see. Okay, so now I forgot to close out the vlog yesterday. But um, I'm closing it out now. And just want to leave some comments saying that Temecula was actually really nice. Really nice city, nice area. Old Town Temecula seemed to have nice restaurants and some historical spots and uh, keeping its western theme. And it seems like they had a lot of antique stores, about six of them at least, and they were pretty fun and pretty interesting and really cool. And then I went into the newer part of Temecula, which is a mall. I can't remember the name of the mall, but it's a big mall that's in Temecula. It kind of reminds me of Irvine Spectrum a little bit, but maybe a little bit bigger and possibly newer. And uh, it was really nice. A lot of stores, a lot of things to do there. And from seeing uh, Temecula, the area, it seems to be very nice. It seems like a very nice, nice area. The air quality is very clean and fresh, and it seems very windy there too, which... I guess it's the ocean air blowing in. So yeah, I had a fun time going uh, to Temecula, and I might go and try to visit some new areas and go to different areas in California just to experience more of California. So yeah, this was a lot of fun, and I really enjoyed myself. So yeah, till the next vlog. Side 5.